Now, I think I speak for most teachers here, or at least kind of 90% of them. There are certain things about our job that we enjoy more than others. Bookmarking isn't that great, neither is writing endless reports, neither is doing duties and all that kind of other stuff. What we quite like doing is actually teaching physics, and we especially like teaching the harder physics to our Year 12 and Year 13 classes. You know, smaller class sizes, people want to do it, they've chosen to do it, and for that reason we absolutely love this. We also quite like talking about physics, you know, uh, after school or at lunch times or when we're kind of, you know, just talking. And for that reason, the thing that you can do to really help yourself is actually talk to your teachers. And when I mean that, I mean actually really, you know, speak to them and ask for their advice because they actually want to give it. I suspect most teachers, and again, you know, if you're a teacher, correct me if I'm wrong, but most of us, we do quite like our jobs. We actually love, uh, especially the harder, more challenging questions that we get at A-level. Now, when I say talk to your teachers, I don't just mean turn up last thing on a Friday after school when they're wanting to head off home. What I'm talking about is if there's something that you don't understand, First of all, just be sensible, okay? Have you read your textbook? Have you maybe watched one of the videos that I've made on that subject? Have you spoken to your friends about it? When you've done that kind of thing, you've exhausted those three options, you know, basically trying to help yourself, then, you know, maybe email or speak to the teacher at some point to maybe give them a bit of warning. When, you've, when they've done that, uh, they're going to be far more likely to kind of give you the help that you need. There's absolutely no point turning to your teachers and saying, you know, I don't understand electricity, can you explain it to me? Because all they're going to be doing is just reciting information, okay? What you've got to have are some clear points that you want to talk about. And that means that you can get, maybe see your teachers and the five, ten minute conversation that you have with them that really helps you understand that bit of the course. Uh, and also they, you know, they enjoy doing it as well. So what I'm talking about is actually go and see your teachers. I suspect that probably 80% of you will not do that. And now's the time to do it, especially when things like study leave begins or you've got time in class. You know, you don't have to be doing this after school or at lunchtime. A lot of time, there's often time at this point when people are working through past papers, uh, you know, so sort of April, May, June time, when you can actually have that, uh, those conversations with your teacher. And sometimes it's just that uh, explaining it, talking it through really helps you understand stuff. So um, if you're a teacher, hopefully I've not kind of given you too much extra work as, as all your students start finding you. But for your students, okay, this is the last time this is ever going to happen. When you get to university, your lecturers are not wanting to give you lots of help because they'd rather be doing their own study and they've like, got papers to write and all sorts of stuff like that. So at university, you don't get the same kind of help that you get at school where your hand is being held a lot of the time and teachers are offering their help. So please, uh, before it's too late, even if you don't like them, if you don't get on with them that well, by the time that you come to them with good physics problems, they'll really kind of start to admire the fact that you are coming to them and asking for help. You do that, you've got a better chance of having things explained to you, and uh, then hopefully a better chance in the exams at the end of it. Thank you.